Hi, I'm Ron Martin, here with your Shipley Energy Energy Market Rundown. Joining me today to talk about the fuels market is Will Muller, Shipley Energy's Business Development Manager. Hi, Will. Hey, Ron. How are you doing today? Yeah. Um, thank you so much for having me on. Uh, there is so much uncertainty happening in the fuel and oil market right now. Happy to answer any questions you may have. All right. Okay, then let's dive into what's going on with the diesel shortages. Major disruptions in physical supply at terminals across Pennsylvania and the East Coast are causing some suppliers to come up short, unable to provide basic supply to their customers. That's right, Ron. The U.S. continues to export diesel and other distillates to other areas around the world, which creates higher prices and shrinking domestic supply. In addition to that, production is still well below pre-COVID levels. So it sounds like there are many factors contributing to the continual strain on the fuel market. What are you suggesting to businesses who are concerned about getting the fuel they need to run their operations? Well, first of all, Shipley Energy is ensuring our customers that we have the supply they need readily available and the scheduled deliveries continue to go out on time. For businesses who are not Shipley Energy customers already, we're suggesting that they partner with us. We have over 15 bulk plants located across central Pennsylvania in the Baltimore area. We also have 150 delivery vehicles ready to go to keep tanks and trucks full at all times. We offer four pricing tiers for our diesel, so we can work with any budget and help find the best plan for each business. That's a lot of fuel ready to go. Yes, it sure is. It, uh, we deliver several million gallons of both diesel and propane each year to our commercial customers. Now, you mentioned propane. What's going on in the propane market right now? Well, Ron, there hasn't been a whole lot of volatility in the propane market recently. While we're seeing increases in pricing, it's not nearly as, as noticeable as the diesel market. Well, are there any seasonal factors businesses should be concerned about? Well, Ron, there really aren't any concerning seasonal factors with propane. Of course, summer prices are generally lower than winter due to the lower usage and varying basis differentials. We have a lot of customers, especially in the agricultural industry, that lock in summer rates for winter usage. When do winter differentials kick in? So, well, Ron, winter propane pricing typically starts at the beginning of October. We have a few different pricing options that customers can choose from for their propane needs. Our team works with each business to individually determine the best pricing plan that coincides with their usage profile. We want to ensure that our customers are getting exactly what they need and when they need it. Well, this has been great information. Thanks for talking with me. And thank you for having me. Moving on to natural gas. The explosion at the liquid natural gas facility in Freeport, Texas, has put almost a fifth of U.S. capacity out of commission. The Freeport LNG export terminal is expected to be shut down for three months, bringing 2.5% of total production back into the domestic market. Analysts are suggesting that this will result in an increase in U.S. storage injections, thus bringing significant market relief. July NYMEX has fallen to a five-week low, pushing natural gas below $7 for the first time in more than a month. Stay tuned for more energy market updates. Thanks for listening.